Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run cross validation in logistic regression. We know that we are using logistic regression when the dependent variable is categorical. The example of it is rural urban, purchasers, non-purchasers, buyers, non-buyers and the independent variable is continuous. There is one dependent variable and many independent variable. Now we want to do the cross validation. What is a cross validation? Let us try to understand. Cross validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can say that it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. This I'll explain on the next slide. Say for example, there is a data set which we are dividing into test data and training data. Now these parameters will be using for the cross validation and the base parameters will be selected and the model will be retrained. After the model is retrained, we will use it for the final evaluation with the help of the test data. Now, what is the concept of cross validation? Let us see. This is the entire data, which will be divided into training data and the testing data. We will specify how many times the folds has to be done. Fold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And there is a split which is there. Rather, I will say that in each fold, how many splits are there? Split in the sense the proportion. So you can see here the green ones are the training data and the blue one are the testing data. So when the algorithm will run for the first iteration, it will consider this as a training data and this as a testing data. Then we will go on changing the data as well. We will go on changing the training data as well as the testing data. And the final evolution will be done on the test data with the help of this. Now, how we can do this in rapid minor? Let us see. So, first of all, I'll remove this previous outputs, all the previous outputs. Thank you. Now, I will load the data here. I'll connect the spline to here. I'll press the play button, and you can see here it is the data set is having age gender, chest pain type, pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ECG, max HR, exercise, old pink, ST slope, heart disease. Now the heart disease is it running in category and we want to classify this heart disease on the basis of attributes which are available or rather what are the factors which contribute for the heart disease. I'll again go in design, I'll disconnect this spline. And now I'll select the attributes. So those parameters which are those attributes which are matter of my interest, I'll select it. So I'll double click on it. I'll subset it. I'll select the attributes from here. So I'll say age, cholesterol. Fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old pig, resting blood pressure, gender, apply. Now I will set the role. Rather, I will have to specify which is my dependent variable and which is my independent variable. I will connect this line. I will activate the operator. I'll go in attribute name and from here heart disease. Make sure that the target role is specified as label, then only your reg logistic regression analysis will run. Now I will go in cross validation. I'll connect this. I'll connect this spline with here. Now any operator, if it is having two years, it means that it is having a parent process as well as a child process. You will have to double click on it to go in the child process. You can very well see that the screen has been divided into training and testing data set. So now write down logistic regression. Load the logistic regression here. Connect the spline. Training with training. Model with model. Then apply the model. Drop it in testing. Now connect the spline model with model, 
test with unlabeled. Now activate the performance. From here, make sure that this time you select performance based on classification, not on the base of regression, because logistic regression is a classification algorithm. Connect label to label. Now connect performance with the performance example with a test. Press this up arrow and come on the parent process. You will have to connect model with the result, performance with the result, and test with the result. Performance with the result, test with the result. Press the play button and you got the answer. Now you can see here the number of samples have increased to 918. Why? Because the cross validation was done multiple times. Right, and that's the reason the sample size has increased. So, let's see the performance factor. From here, you can say that, say, true, mean, it means that on the original data, no heart disease was there. And the algorithm also predicted that there was no heart disease. So, 307 cases were such where the real no, or rather a person not having a heart disease and the algorithm are matching with each other. Similarly, a person having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted it, yes, the person is having heart disease based on the attributes which we had specified like age, blood pressure, something like that. So 402 and 307 are correctly classified cases. So 307 and 402, if we divide it, by 918, what we will get is a club accuracy of the model, 77.2%. Quite good. Now, if I talk about classic recall, so in case of, in case of no, the classification accuracy is 74.88% and in case of yes, the classification accuracy is 79.13%. You can also see the variables which are significant. So all those variables, whose p-value is less than 5% level of significance, that is less than 0 0.05, are contributing towards the heart disease. Kindly refer to my previous videos on regression analysis to understand this thing in better way. You can go in description also, where you will get the lift, the cumulative lift. We have already discussed in my previous video how to calculate the lift and the cumulative lift. Now, let us try to understand this part. This is a prediction which has been done by the algorithm. And this is the real data. Okay. Now, our target is yes, confidence of yes. How many times our algorithm was correct in predicting that the heart disease is there. So, double click on it so that your Probability is nearer to 1 and it is arranged in the descending. So, the confidence of yes for the prediction, yes, the heart disease is there is yes. And the heart disease is there is yes. It means that the algorithm as well as the real data matches in the first case. But in the case, row number 697, for the patient number 697, this is not matching. And this is a misclassification which has happened. No and yes. So, here also the misclassification is happening and that is what is reported here or here. For more videos on Rapid Minor, you can subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Rapid Minor. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.